Hello everybody, today Gatsby and I are going to be sharing our Corgi daily routine. This is what it's like to own a Corgi. Good morning. Time to wake up, sir. Scratch. I actually take them out three times a day now. So once, first thing in the morning, just like how we need to use the bathroom when we wake up. The Gatsby goes too. We go for about uh, 15 minutes. That's about as long as it takes them to poop. He's pooping. We reached our goal. <laughs> He's like, what, I pooped. I pooped, you pooped. Alexa, we're back. Welcome back, Ryan and Gatsby. Don't forget to wash your hands in Gatsby's paws. Gatsby needs to keep them corgis on sleep. We have baby wipes right by the door for Gatsby. Yes, thank you, sir. Gatsby's got the routine down pat. The next thing to do is to get Gatsby's breakfast as well as my breakfast, so we're gonna do that. Gatsby has his raw food over here. He gets a breakfast, a snack, and a dinner. This is not just raw beef and raw chicken. There's other stuff mixed in it too for dogs. I think it's really important to stick to a routine when you have a dog, just because dogs are creatures of habit. They can rely on routines. It also saves a lot of time for humans as well because it's very easy to communicate with the dog. They understand the routine. They become a lot more efficient with your time as well as their time. So once we're done with that, we have to wash the plate because that was raw meat. Good boy. I just washed the container and now we got to put in the new frozen food for tomorrow. So these come frozen and we just have to defrost them. Beef patty, chicken nuggets. Okay, time for me to make my breakfast. Hot sauce. And that's our morning routine. He's like, what? And now it's time for this week's Corgi Crunch! And that was this week's Corgi Crunch! <gasps> Ukulele?
I'm gonna throw the ball from far away and you gotta catch it. Welcome to my makeshift gym. We're gonna hit some back and arms today. Just got a good workout in. Every day, the vacuum cleaner, it vacuums for us. And yeah, right Gatsby? So that's one thing about having a Corgi. The hack is to get a robot vacuum cleaner. Yes. Now it's time for me to go on a run. I've tried running with Gatsby many times, but Gatsby has told me he does not want to come with me. He's like, I do not like to do runs. So I just go by myself and take Gatsby out a little bit later. Ooh, okay. Is it time to take you out, Gatsby? Right now, this is Gatsby's main time to go out in the middle of the day. Make sure that he goes potty one more time. Let's go. Get your stuff out. Gatsby, are you pooping already? So usually this is the time when we take Gatsby out and he runs around in the park, but since the parks are closed, we gotta exercise him indoors. Time to exercise, Gatsby, let's exercise! Okay, now it's time for Gatsby to show off his goalie skills in a new game I like to call Gatsby the Goalie. Here goes. He's so ready. Go, go. I made it! I got a point, Gatsby! Go! 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 I got it! Yay! For Ryan! Boo for Gatsby! Mwah. I'm winning, Gatsby! I'm winning! Back up! Back up! All the way! Back up! I have to train you how to be a goalie. You have to be a good goalie. Yeah, you did it! You blocked it, Gatsby! Go! Oh, you got it! You gotta get it past the goalie. Go! I got it! Come on, goalie. Take the ball back. Give me the ball. <laughs> goalie is not happy. He's destroying the goalposts. Good game. Good game. As I mentioned before, we usually take Gatsby out, but right now all the parks are closed, so we can't do that. So I have the monumental task of making sure Gatsby gets enough exercise because Corgis need a lot of exercise. Huh? Yes, I hear you. Okay. Here you go. It's been 30 minutes of playing so far. He's still not tired. Yes, Gatsby. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth there. Chicken fillet. He's like, oh my gosh. Okay, well. Can you heal again? Again? Good boy. Down. Good dog. Roll over. Okay, good boy. Shake. Good boy. Lunch snack. Looks like somebody's exhausted from the exercise we did. Did I tire you out? He's like, I'm so tired. You make me exercise so much inside. Boop. 
Okay, so for dinner today, we are gonna be making something from Jimmy Kimmel. I saw him make this. He says it's a super big hit at his house. It's called Pasta Tina or Pastina. He calls it Pasta Tina. And it is pretty much like a beginner's pasta. He says his kids love it and it's perfect for right now because it really requires a very few ingredients. I want to try one of his recipes. Everybody always says he's such a good cook. First off, we're boiling some water. This is the pasta we're gonna use. I got it from Costco. Super good. The only other things you need are cannellini beans, roasted chicken base, garlic, olive oil, and some grated fresh Parmesan cheese. Ah, I didn't know. Okay, that's how you peel them. Okay, so you want, just want to bruise them like that. Olive oil. Want to do that over low heat. The whole point of this is to get the olive oil infused with the garlic. Let's open these cannellini beans, which are already cooked and washed. Drain a little bit of the liquid. Stick it inside of our butter mix. Smooth. Oh, the water is boiling. He says you want to do like one spoonful of this. We're almost done. That's pretty easy so far. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty much ready. We just take the beans and the chicken paste. He said you can take out the garlic, but I'm gonna leave it in. Okay, we just strained out the water. He strains all of it out, so that's what I just did. Ta-da! It kind of looks like mac and cheese. Add some to a bowl here. He says you have to use actual Parmesan cheese. Ta-da! It's done! That's it! I'm excited to try it out. It tastes good. I don't know what how to explain the taste though. And it tastes a little bit like a mac and cheese, but not quite. Huh. The garlic and the olive oil inside, that's super good. And the beans add a very, very like subtle flavoring. Pastina in Italian is supposed to be like like beginner's pasta, like the basic, like base level pasta. I would give it an eight out of ten. I'm gonna try some white pepper with it. Maybe I should try some hot sauce too. Some tapatio. We're making this Italian dish. A little bit Mexican. <laughs> I like it with hot sauce. It's like an abomination of, <laughs> of pasta tina. Now, but I like it more. He's like, sir, I would like some pasta tina too. Eating your food? Okay, so in the last vlog, I played with you guys a game, Guess the Celebrity, and as I mentioned in the live stream, the answer was Justin Bieber. <laughs> a lot of you guys surprisingly got it correct. I thought we would switch it up and play a slightly different game with you guys. I will have 30 seconds to describe to you guys a plot of a movie without saying any names, and you guys have to guess. So in the comments below, number one, two, and three, and guess which movies I am giving the plot to. Set a timer for 30 seconds. Okay, so there are these two guys and um, they are helping to rescue the uh, queen and um, they help on their way out to rescuing them. They run into this little boy um, who is um, a really good pilot and they decide to um, take them, take the boy with him, and they um, run away for a little bit, and then they come back, and then they try to, then they try to um, rescue the queen's home. Okay, that was movie number one. What movie was I describing? <laughs> that was hard. Okay. Um, What's the next movie that I have to describe? Oh my gosh. Okay, so there is um, this guy who is ruling um, the kingdom, and then this um, woman comes and reveals that she is the sister, and she exiles him from the land. And the rest of the movie is taking place where this guy um, is trying to escape from the place that he gets exiled to, and um, he meets his co-worker there, and with the help of um, him and this other woman, they're able to escape and they go back to their the kingdom, and... Okay. I can't say any more, but there was more. <laughs> final movie, what is the final movie? This one's hard to describe. Okay, so there's this guy who um, 
escapes from the bad guys and um, he meets up with this girl and they run away together and um, they run into this really famous person and the famous person is having problems because his son is one of the bad guys that um, they were trying to escape from and so um, the famous guy ha um, has a famous wife as well and so they all go and try to um, save the son um, oh, I want to see how many people get number one, two, and three correct because those were very, very, very bad, badly described movies. Maybe the second one was the, the easiest one out of all those, but maybe it was because the plot of the actual movie wasn't good. And now it's time for the final potty of the night. Time to go for your final potty. Let's go. Come on. Okay. So before we used to go four times a day. I used to take him out around like seven o'clock and then again right before we went to sleep. But what happened was Gatsby actually ended up telling me last year that he doesn't need to go four times. <laughs> My family was like, really? Gatsby told you? How did Gatsby tell you? I was like, no, he told me. Like I would call him and be like, okay, let's go, let's go potty. And he would not come. And then I'd be like, are you sure you don't want to go? and he was totally fine. He's like, yep, I don't need to go. He told me he only needs to go three times a day. So this is the final time that we're going right now. Three times a day, right? Yeah, he already pooped his two poops in the morning and the afternoon. So this final one is just a really fast pee. I just kind of take him outside and he goes pretty fast. I got you a new toothpaste, Gatsby. We'll see how this turns out. Brush, 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 brush. So I think a lot of people when they brush their doggy's teeth, or if they try to, the dog doesn't like it because you can't brush for too long. Just do like a few, I would suggest to get your dog used to brushing their teeth, just do a few swipes like this and that's it. I would just suggest doing it for like 10 to 15 seconds. Just get them used to the feeling. Is that yummy? Did you like the flavor? Hey Gatsby. Aww. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's gonna do it for us for today. I hope you had a little insight on um, our Corgi routine. Make sure if you are interested, go to CorgiOnFleek.com to support us with some cool Corgi merchandise, which I'm still shipping out myself. Other than that, we're gonna head to bed. We'll see you guys in another video. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. And now it's time for us to bring back a segment that we haven't done in a while, Crafting with Corgis. Woo!